Welcome, this is Martha is Dead, guys. This is the third stream I've been playing this game. Um, I have a feeling that this is going to be the last time I play this because I'm getting near the end. I'm getting near the end, right? Guys, so the parents found out that I am not actually Martha. Uh, right? Yeah, that, that's where we left off. So we kind of did missions for this resistance and then now the parents know that I'm, I'm actually the bad one that's alive. Not, not the deaf one. Crazy. Uh, I think it was this, this grave here. Is it this one? Yes, here it is. Okay. I, I... If I wear this, it should allow me to make contact with her. With this object, she'll have to hear me. I have no doubt. Okay, I have an object that I can make contact with her. Everything I need to communicate with the lady, I can finally go to the island. Okay, I'm trying to contact the white lady, the ghost. So I have all the objects I need now. I can go to the island. So I gotta go take the boat. The boat is uh this way. Let's go. There's the boat. Okay, we're going to the island. There's an island with a with a tree on it right there. Okay. So this is like the water, the water ghost. Okay, you guys ready? I'm gonna start it up. Ready? Thank you. Um. Meow. I think there's a dock somewhere. Whoa, oh, 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 no, 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 that's not good. Do I, do I go here? No, I don't dock there. Mm, oh, there's, oh, there's the dock. Okay. Just gonna park it nice, nice and smoothly. Yeah, okay. Just gonna, okay. Whoa, whoa, we're clipping. We're clipping. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're good. Oh, thank God. Peace and quiet. Guys, the engines back in the 40s were very loud. Not a lot of sound dampening either. Like, that is... That's an old engine. <gasps> What's this small ball? Hello? White lady? White lady, where are you? Okay, we'll just go up here and um, talk to this tree. This is the tree the lover was hung from, according to the legend. Oh, it's a legend. She was hung from that tree. Okay, let's investigate further. What's this down here? Um, okay, I'm just gonna sit here, okay. Oh, I dropped a film. Or what is that? What is that? A roll of film. Oh! <gasps> the one that I was taking out of the camera just before I discovered Martha's body. Oh, shit. It contains shots from before that moment. Before? With luck, one of the shots has captured the moment of Martha's murder. I will then finally have an answer. Was it really mummy? I will develop it as soon as I can, but now it's time to speak with the white lady. I found the film! That film is gonna tell us who murdered... Martha. Was it really mummy? Do you guys think mummy murdered Martha? What are, you, what are your guys' You know what, don't... It, people that know the ending of this game, don't spoil it, okay? I'm gonna put on this necklace. The lover's cross to draw her. The Nazis did it? That's a cop out. The Nazis always do it. Um, okay, we're cutting this. Hair? There we go. A lock of my hair to enter into her world. I will use the tarot cards to communicate with her. Okay. The first ten will be used like I did with Nanny. 
Once two cards have been chosen, it should begin. Fuck. Okay, I gotta do these one at a time. Here we go. Um. You camouflage yourself in the woods to approach me. You blend in with the water to make yourself known. You wish to communicate with me through the energy of symbols. You use my pain to summon me. You are very bold. You call upon me for knowledge that I do not possess. For answers I do not have. I am only a vessel. Like water, like air. A vessel to move and breathe. Okay. It worked. Now I need to choose two cards. Here we go. It looks like the nun. Yeah, kind of. I gotta choose two cards, guys. Two cards. I'm just gonna close my eyes and wherever my mouth mouse lands, that's where I'm going. This one. The tower. Well, that's not a good card. That looks bad. Okay, closing my eyes. This one. The chariot. You do not have control of yourself. There is a dark figure inside you. The wounds are feeding it. It will do things you do not like. Ew. It will use your desires, your guilt, the darkest parts of your conscience. Okay, that's not good. Now what? More? More cards? The stars. Oh, oh, okay. That one's naked. Um, what's this one? Death. Oh, yes, the I death card. That you want to know who did it, but I do not have the answer. You must find it yourself. Do not ever try to enter through the front door if you wish to reach the heart. Your twin sister might have the answer you are looking for. She's dead. Even after death, we leave traces of ourselves, don't we? Hmm. Everything is indefinite if you look at the essence of things. Well, the pictures, obviously. Okay, what's this one? The High Priestess. Okay, how about this one over here? The hero the daughter, fent? The house, the mother. The daughter comes from the mother's house, then makes herself a home and becomes a mother. This cycle is broken. To undo the knot, find the son. He is the original sin reflected on you. The one who gave you the light wishes to take it back. She wants control. Bit by bit, she is crumbling your life. You have to stop her. I have to stop, Mother? Oh, God. Succubus. Right? What, what card was that? I don't know. I didn't see a message. The moon. Part of our soul embraces the people we love. It is then torn away from us when these people disappear. It was the devil, okay. The wound is deep Thank you, Joey. And it cannot heal. Faith vacillates. Death causes fear. But the church is a safe place. It is home and mother to its children. Faith is the light. Do not lose it. Finding it again is almost impossible. I lost it in sorrow, and without time, I am lost in the dark. 
Okay, some, something about the church. <laughs> um, that's me. That's me. That's me. I'm the fool. Okay, here we go. What's over here? The hanged man. You will no longer be able to tell light from darkness. In sorrow, the difference is so subtle. You are alone, and you will remain alone. Memories what? are abandoning you. They are your only true companions. I don't want to be alone. Now they take the place of your happy childhood, and they may return to keep you company. <gasps> Whoa, fuck. What? No, leave me alone. Hey, that was my necklace. Did she just pull me in? I don't want to go swimming. <gasps> oh god, I'm underwater. Um, give me, give me, get it. Can I swim to the top? No, I can't. All right, well we're just swimming. Apparently, I can breathe forever. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go this way. Ew, seaweed. Ew. Okay. Don't worry, guys. We're just doing a little swimming. Don't know where I'm going, but I'm going this way. What's that? Oh, it's a down. Uh, it's a down aircraft. What's that noise? Oh, there's fishies. Hello, fishies. Um, oh, there's a tree. There's a dock. What am I? Do I go to the light? I go towards the light, right? The light, light is good. There is some type of uh, flagpole here. No, it's, that's a light. That's the house. I'm swimming in the in the bathtub. What? I can see the house and I can see the bathtub around me. Oh, this is trippy. What is that? Or is that the white lady? She's, she's got something. I'm clipping through it. Okay, she's got a key. Can yeah, I take the key? Thank you. <gasps> okay, I'm in the bathroom. It's good. But at least now I have this key. Ramen. I got the key. I got the key in my hand. I just had a nice bath. Okay. I think we can unlock. Uh, this one, right? This has got, this has got to be the one, right? Yes, we're gonna find all the secrets. July 16th. Dear sister, I entrust my secrets to this letter. If you are reading it, things have gone as I thought they might, and I'm no longer there with you. First of all, I am not deaf, and I never was. What? Mother scared me when we were little, so I decided not to speak or listen anymore. Martha's not deaf. It worked. In fact, Mother began to love me. They also found a scientific explanation for my deafness. Neurological damage caused by excessive pressure exerted by the twin during pregnancy progressively led to hearing loss. And like that, my decision was also transformed into a fault of yours. So I must put it right. Do I have any other secrets? Unfortunately, yes, but a letter is too cold for such matters. Now that you know that I can speak, please go to the dark room. I have a hidden recording. Listen to it and you will hear my voice. Farewell, Martha. She's got another oh, secret. Madness, Martha. What else have you been hiding from me? You deprived me of your voice for more than 15 years. I can't wait to hear it now. And she's got a recording for me in the dark room. 
So mama's causing tra trauma to these children and Martha decided to, to be mute for, for her whole life and uh, got some more sympathy votes from from their mother and mother started playing favorites. Um, the mother's so fucked up. Where is that recording? Wait, wait, wait. I, I got to roll a film. I want to develop it. No, I can't. Okay. There is nothing here. Okay, I got to look for it. Okay, we're looking for the roll. Oh, here it is. Aha! Found it! It was there the whole time. That is, that is, that is, um, a roll of audio recording. Someone else Hi, wants to get bit. I know that this will seem absurd, but this is me and this is my voice. Sounds like me. We are equals in this sense, too. Well, it's obvious, really. I've basically always spoken and you were my voice. I'm going to meet my fate, so I don't want there to be any more secrets between us. I have to tell you that I'm... I'm pregnant, Julia. I'm pregnant with Lapo's baby. We had sex, and I never had the courage to tell you. I was so afraid of hurting you. I'm so ashamed. And now, how can I ever bring this child into the world? The baby is starting to show. Could you tell? That's why I'm no longer getting undressed in front of you. But for how much longer can I hide it? Yesterday, you asked me to go to the lake together early in the morning. You, the sleepyhead. Early, when we were little girls. Emotional damage! Wake you. I put on one of your dresses. Yeah, we had dad sex, so so Lapo's the, the son. So, Lapo's, Lapo's not the son, Lapo's the father. Why'd I say son? Um, I wrote a card to mother telling her that it was you who was pregnant, not me. And to come and... Dear mother... I left her on the desk in her room. This is a note for mother. It's hard, but I didn't tell you I found out Julia's pregnant. Oh, oh, she's she's um putting the blame on me. What? So this is where that letter came from. Oh my god, things are coming together, guys. Here we go. Oh god, parents are they're actually sleeping. You can actually see the parents. I'm just going to watch them sleep for a bit. I'm going to be a little creepy. I felt the need to talk to you and I remembered the recorder in the dark room. Yeah, I remembered the recorder. Record okay, now we're going into the dark room. The lake alone and act as you. I will tell her everything you never had the courage to tell her. I will be your voice. I know how much she's made you suffer over the years. Unlike you, I remember all of the harm she has done to you, and it is my fault. Take my place, sister. You will live a better life, and I will be able to rest in peace, knowing that I at least try to put right what I have done wrong. I will go now. My last memory will be the image of you sleeping. Hi, Julia. I was upset. Unbelievably upset. July 16th, that cursed day. Martha didn't wake me up. Martha didn't wake me up. Okay. Now, now am I Julia? I'm Julia, right? Uh, see objects I can interact with. Hold down space. Oh, okay. The clock. It was late. Martha hadn't woken me up as we had agreed. And I always overslept. Martha wasn't there, and we were supposed to go to the lake together. She even made her bed, which was unusual. I thought Mother woke up early, despite her medication, and asked her to do something. So, the, the game's repeating itself. We've, we've done this before. This was the beginning of the game. We're out of here. I need to get changed. There was a dress missing from my wardrobe. I simply decided to go out and take the photographs by myself without Martha. Um, okay, now we're going down to the lake. We're going down the lake, we're going to confront Martha. I think this is all going to happen over again. We've seen this, right? Martha, I'm coming! Oh, 
Okay. Don't worry, guys. It was a foggy morning, but it was no longer dawn. It was a sign of something terrible. Fog fog equals terrible? No. No, it doesn't. Fog, My fog is fine. I killed her beloved Martha with her own hands. I had then taken her place, usurping the throne of her affection. She would have never forgiven me. I had real reason to be afraid. Mom did it? Really? Well, that was obvious. I didn't think it would be that obvious. It was the mother. Come on. Daddy's pistols to defend myself. <gasps> what a stupid little girl I was. In spite of everything, that role of film still needed developing. Even if it didn't prove she was guilty. I also wanted to search for proof of Martha's pregnancy. Okay, we took Daddy's gun. Um, she doesn't. Okay, n new chapter: the graveyard. Six days after Martha's death. Okay, now we're gonna go ham on mom. We, we got a gun. Uh, mommy, better watch out. Um, Julia doesn't even care about proving that mother did it, but I want to see what's on that roll of film. Face the troops of the Eighth Army. Martha was pregnant from Labo, the resistance fighter. On a vast front, and the advanced units have reinforced their positions that run from San Michel to La Romola, near La Romola. The Four hundred ISO film. The it comes into its own shooting clouds and indoors. By the artillery. Luckily, the general and his family. Telegram. The I'll leave it in the letterbox. A telegram. Another telegram of condolence. Isn't it a bit late? Here we go. We got mail, guys. Let's read it. This is Irene K. Following your call, we have received a telegram from Dr. D. Your request has been accepted. As soon as the police station issues authorization, we will send for the girl. While we wait, to avoid the girl taking any extreme actions, as per the fears you have expressed, we ask that you trust in the advice of her treating physician. I thank you for your generous and charitable donation to our institution. Director S. Hmm. Volterra Psychiatric Hospital. Telephone 0782. Now that she has discovered everything, she wants to lock me up in an asylum. <gasps> oh my god. Even worse, she wants to kill me and have everyone believe it was suicide. She is preparing all the finer details. Oh my god. This mother wants to lock me up in an insane asylum or kill me? Oh my god. This is fucking sick, guys. We need to see what's on those film 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 reels because as I'm too curious. I need to see who really killed Martha, guys. Oh fuck. Oh no, mother's down here. To the dark room now. Not when she's around. I must stay as far away from her as possible. Fuck. I could go to the cemetery instead to find out whether Martha really was pregnant or not. Damn it. Mother's down there. Go to the cemetery. Where where is the cemetery again? Where's the map? The map doesn't tell me where the cemetery is. What what there there was a church like over here, but I don't, I don't think there's like a cemetery over there. Is the cemetery in the woods? There was like a grave site. I don't, I wouldn't call it a cemetery though. Is this a cemetery here? Maybe if I go down that way. This this looks like a cemetery kind of. It looks more it looks more like a fort though. Very. I don't remember, but Nanny told me we used to go there when we were kids to see who was brave enough to go down the stairs. No one would ever go further than the first two steps. Now Martha's down there, alone, in the dark. She must be frightened. Okay, th yeah, I'm going the right way. This is the cemetery where Martha's buried. Uh, I think we're gonna dig up her grave and confirm that she was pregnant. Is, is, that, what, is, that, is that what I'm doing? I'm gonna dig up my si dead sister? Okay. Alright. Let's see where this is going. The crypt is here. Okay. The crypt. Uh, bolt cutters. No, I don't need him now? Okay. Let's hope the caretaker isn't around. That man gives me the creeps. The caretaker is creepy? 
Oh, we, need to, we need to find Martha's grave. I think it's this one. All right, Martha, I'm coming in. Locked. The key must be in the caretaker's hut, as always. The key, the the caretaker's hut. Okay. Uh, is this a hut? No. Oh, here it is. This door is locked. It's locked. I must get in. Maybe oh. I can find something around here to break the lock. Yeah, I tried to pick up those damn bolt cutters three times. And you wouldn't let me. But now I guess I do. Okay. There we go. Perfect for breaking the lock. I should hurry before the caretaker... Nickleton! Oh, are you talking about phasophobia? Floppy flowers? Gonna cut that. Snipped. Snipped. We're breaking and entering. Open sesame. Okay, yes, we're in the caretaker's uh, office. We got some pictures. Everyone takes a side. I find myself siding with my family, but I'm not sure whether it is right. Instructions for the automatic telephone machine. For example, if you wish to call the number 0573, pick up the telephone from the hook and bring the receiver to your ear. You will hear a continuous tone. Firstly, place your index finger in the hole displaying the number zero. Turn the disc clockwise until it stops. Let the disc return freely to its resting position. Repeat the same steps for the numbers 573. Okay, that's telling you how to um, use an old phone. Okay, yeah, I know how those work. I've used one of those. Enough. I can't go on like this any longer. I can't go on pretending nothing happened. My family was slaughtered by these dirty Nazis. My daughter wasn't even buried and I had to bury that half-blood instead. An Italian family that got cozy with the dirty Germans. Bastards, that's what they are. What am I supposed to do with my life now? I want to end it, but not without taking a few Germans down with me. You won't see me anymore, but you will hear about me. Long live the resistance. Viva Italia. Ouch. Okay. Okay. We're looking for some- Oh, what's this? A uh, camera. I got a camera. Not sure how that's gonna help me. Oh, there's a key. Okay, I got it. Right here. Okay, let's unlock this. Go say hello to Martha. Let's see if she's pregnant. What do you guys think? You th think she's really pregnant? Probably, right? She even said it. I can see why we were scared as children. It's a rather gloomy place. Yes, this is definitely a crypt. It's it's a little um disturbing, to say the least. Okay. Just showing my respects, guys. Just showing my respects. Oh god. This is, this is quite a nice, uh, crypt. This is almost like a church. Alright. Who, who's, who comes down here and lights all these candles every day? Like, holy shit. This is, it's not gloomy, right? This is actually pretty pretty. This is very pretty. I, I stand corrected. Up we go. Um, okay, is it open? Martha? Okay, she's fine. Is she pregnant though? May God forgive me for what I'm about to do. I also pray that you, Martha, will forgive me. Oh fuck, what am I doing? I'm, I'm just... I'm just a dra- can, can I just a, Okay, here we go. Okay, that's one button. That's two buttons. Three buttons. Ooh. 
We're going to see if she's pregnant. Can't we just like look at her look at her stomach? That doesn't look very pregnant. I guess she's just early. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna really find out. We're we're investigating. We're getting right down into the investigation, guys. Uh, amateur autopsy here. Here we go. Oh god. Holy fucking fuck. Um. Don't worry, she's dead. If that makes it any better for you guys. Oh god! Is is bleeding? It's bleeding. It's she still she still got blood. Okay. Um. Shake it open. Shake it open a bit. We're reaching in there, checking to see if we can find a fetus. Uh, we got something. Uh, cutting the umbilical cord. And, uh, there we go! We got ourselves a two-headed fetus. Uh, probably a twin that has not separated yet. Or something. It was true. Martha was pregnant. Pregnant with a deformed fetus with two heads. Twins again. They always said that it ran in the family. I was all the more shocked. I was doing things that I had never done before. I do not know what force was moving me. I became unstoppable. I decided to photograph the horror as evidence to show my mother and to everyone. Who knows why? She's gonna show her mother? We're gonna take a picture of this. Evidence. Okay. To mother. Um, yeah, m mom, you... You, uh... Raise some very sick children here. They're just trying to survive their mother and look at what they're trying to do. One killed herself and one's cutting open stomachs. It's fucked up. Enough now. That's a good picture. No longer. I will come back to fix you and I will stay and take care of you. We will spend so much time together. I love you, Martha. Goodbye, Martha. I'm um, sorry. Ooh. Doctor, I must thank you for your help. My hands are bloody. What to do without you? Even our own dear Donatilio seems to not understand the situation. Irena, please, consider the idea of leaving Italy as your husband suggested. It would be better for everyone, especially for the girl. I fear that nothing will make her better. Her father doesn't want to accept it. I believe that hope is long gone. I agree, but in Germany there are better treatments in specialized clinics. The asylum is a temporary solution, just to ensure that she doesn't do anything- Hey, to yo! But it's a nightmarish place. You know that all too well. <coughs> you cannot possibly want this for your daughter. Of course I don't. Bullshit. But what can I do? She is a danger to herself, to us, to everyone. One of Eric's guns have taken it. Who else could it have been? I am so scared, Doctor. I cannot wait any longer. Also, you know what they think of Italians in Germany, don't you? But you would be with Erich, an esteemed general. Everyone will respect you. That cursed girl. Where could she be? Let's hope she doesn't play any more foolish stunts. I'll wait for her here, in the cellar. Sooner or later, Bing she'll bang. go to the dark room. That's for sure. I oh, that's why she's waiting down there. An eye on her. But I must rush to town to organize the last few things for her hospitalization. Thank you, Doctor. Don't worry. We'll see you later. She's waiting for me for that fucking dark room. I need those films developed. I need to see who murdered my sister. Okay, my hand's really fucking bloody. She's sleeping. I must take advantage of this. Oh, fuck, she's sleeping. She make her talk. She will reveal the truth out of fear. She thinks I can be silenced by calling me crazy. 
But unbeknownst to her, I will record everything. Everyone will know what you have done to your own daughter. So am I going to, like, interrogate her? Am I going to tie her up? Wait, 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 wait. Do I have an... I, I think I have an option here. Game doesn't really tell you. What's over here? Uh, so I got something in my bag. Oh, I got a, I got a diary. 21st of July. Lapo is dead. Lapo's dead. They shot me in the back when I discovered his body. <gasps> I thought I had hit rock bottom. These are soulless, empty days. After so many awful events, I finally managed to meet the white lady. Or so I believe. The line between reality and dreams is becoming less and less clear to me. I thought a lot about her words, but they didn't shed any light on my assumptions. They kept ringing in my mind. Maybe I will understand when the time comes. Now I know for certain that it was Mummy who killed Martha, when she thought that she was me. Only a week ago, all of this would have seemed impossible. I just need to find the proof so she can pay for what she has done. Let's check out this deck. The fool, yes, that is me. Care about what people think. I mustn't care what people think. Okay. The devil, yes, that is me. I'm the fool and the devil. From facing the music. This game knows me. What's the tower? It will be very difficult to recover from the mental collapse. All right. Yes, I'm a fool. I'm a demon, and I got mental problems. Yep. This. Yep. This sounds about right. What do we got here? <gasps> oh, shit. Destiny is inevitable. The end waits for us. I'm, I'm a goof. I'm an evil devil, guys. I got mental problems and uh, death. I'm death. Oh, yes. This game. Look at that. That's a great tower reading right there. I'm going to print screen now. I'm saving that, guys. I would make too much noise and wake her up. Oh, I can't develop the film. Okay, I can't develop film, but I can play this recording. Oh, I'm recording that I can like... Oh, I'm going to record our conversation. Oh, shit. Okay, now I can fuck up mother. Here we go, we're going to fuck her up. With the gun. Now I will wake her up and she will confess. You can bet on it. Or she's dead. Oh, fuck. What? What are you doing, my daughter? Why do you want to ruin your life? Oh, we shot already. It wasn't me who just shot Mummy. It what? wasn't me. What? You're the only one with a gun here, Julia. <laughs> Dear God, what have I done? She forced me. She killed Martha. But who in the world will believe me now? They will take me to the mental asylum. Those rolls of film are my only hope. I just killed her in cold blood. She might have deserved it. I don't know. We, we didn't have all the evidence, though. Uh, okay, I got I got the keys. So that's who had the keys to my childhood oh. bedroom. Oh. I could have guessed. I got the keys to the childhood bedroom. Oh, my God. It's all coming together. It's all coming together, guys. I don't want, I don't want to go to the insane asylum. Oh, fuck. We're getting bombed. Oh my God. Sooner or later, more bombs will land here, then everything will come to an end. Yes, we can. Damn, the power is out. Oh, fuck. It's impossible to develop that roll of film. We can't develop that roll of film. That sucks. I need a lighter. Okay, let's go to the happy room then. Okay, we're going in. The happy room. What is that? That looks like a puppet show. Oh my god. Look at the city in the distance. It's on fire. I think the allied forces or something or the resistance is battling the Nazis out there. 
go check out this puppet theater. Or whatever this is. It's like being a child all over again. I used to play with the puppets by reenacting what was happening in my life. To clear my mind. I want to do it again. At the beginning of any puppet act, there was always the legend of the White Lady. Otherwise, the scenes I was reenacting were worthless. You're right, she is pretty damn calm for killing her mother. To an ancient legend, the lakes of the area are haunted by the spirit of a young woman who was killed by the man she loved. A lover's nightly tryst by the lake. So much hope and desire. But death, not love, was awaiting her. Um, okay, so I can control the puppets. I'm the young lady. Uh, okay. We can choose actions. Uh, my love is not here yet. I'll wait. My love is not here yet. I'll wait. Look at the moon. Ah, oh, what a beautiful moon tonight. Move, move the puppet Your to unlock a new action. Lost. My lover! Come here! What's going on? Why are you acting weird? Okay, now we're controlling the lover. Speak. You cheated on me! You cheated on me! Um, I would never do that. I love you. I would never do that. I love you. Um, kill. I love you too much. The thought of you with another drives me insane. That's why you have to die. Oh my god. This is not a good puppet show. No wonder why she's so... tortured. What did I do to you? The end. Okay, guys. Ugh. Emotional damage! That's right. He confessed he had killed her out of jealousy. Okay, now we're the priest. Uh, I'm gonna move the priest in there. He's gonna say the last rites. That's what priests sound like. Mm -hmm, okay. Ex executioner comes in and uh, he's going to execute him. Here we go. And he's hung. Peace out, buddy. Moro. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, her spirit, known as the White Lady, takes the life of a young woman whenever events take her back to that sad day. The young woman sings. <laughs> Wash my hands in the water, I'm not gonna die. Oh god, here comes the white lady! Grab! I'm sneaking you in the water, here you go! Help! Help me! Help me! Oh god, she's so scary! Oh no! Now I can begin. Okay, now we can begin what? First of all, let's clarify what happened the night before the cursed 16th of July. Martha, they say the world will be over soon. Dad says we're losing. What will happen if we do? Dad says we're losing. What will happen if we do? They'll take us. They will take everything from us. Uh, 
Um, will we go to Germany? Will we become poor? Will we go to Germany? I'm afraid we will. Uh, do you want to come to the lake with me tomorrow? Did you see Lapo yesterday? Did you see Lapo yesterday? Um, why do you ask? I saw him leave the barn. Weren't you there? I saw him leave the barn. Weren't you there? Are they doing like sign language? No! Do you want to come with me to the lake tomorrow? Do you want to come with me to the lake tomorrow? They had sex in the barn. Ooh. Barn animals. I want to bathe. I want to bathe. Not me. Can't relax, Martha. Goddamn. I want to take some photos. I want to take some photos. What if mommy finds out? Who cares? Mommy's crazy, right? Mommy's crazy. Uh, let's go at dawn. Mommy wants to sleep heavily anyways. Let's go at dawn. Mommy sleeps heavily anyway. You know she's been taking that medicine. They're doing sign language. Yes, you're right. You're right there. <laughs> Will you actually wake up at dawn? Wake me up. Wake me up. Shall we swap beds like we used to when we were kids? Sure, that's a great idea. Sure, great idea. Go to sleep. Good night. Good night, Martha. <sighs> N Good night, Martha. Going to bed. Before you go, go, go. Wake me up before you go, go. Okay, where are we going? Then in the morning, Martha went to the lake pretending to be me to show her pregnancy. She knew Mother was going to follow her down. Now I can only guess what happened when they met at the lake. Okay, so Martha pretended to be Julia, going down to the lake, showing Mother that Julia is pregnant, but it's actually Martha. And the mother ended up killing Martha just because she thought that Martha was Julia. Um, what do I do here? I'm going to show mommy my tummy. Am I getting fully naked? I'm just trying to show her my tummy. What's going on here? Okay, we just got fully naked mom. Lucky mom, I... So... You, you are pregnant. Your sister was right. So you are pregnant. Your sister was right. Um, t take a bath? Or talk to her? Well, well, at least I had fun. <laughs> well, at least I had fun. Oh god, that's not good. I'll punish you for this whore. I'll punish you for this, whore. Um, try, I dare you. Try, I dare you. Take out a cane? Oh god. Use the cane? Dumb. 
Tung, 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 tung. <laughs> oh my god. This might be exactly what happened. This might be exactly what happened. I don't know. Is it? Um, let's try. Let's try to replay the scene. See if we can get something different. Um, I don't think that's how it happened. What? Let's go take a bath this time. Uh, take out my knife. Oh, let's do that. Uh, take out the cane? Or do a little battle? Use the knife! No, this is too simple. It can't have happened like this. Um, yeah, that ain't horror. Um, okay, now, 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 what should I do? Should I go take a bath? I'm having too much fun. She's, I am. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, um, take out my knife. Shh. And then mommy's gonna talk. Um, what are you gonna do with that knife? What are you going to do with that knife? Uh, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. You're insane. You're insane. Well, I'm going to use the knife. Stab. Yes, this is how it should have ended. Stab, stab, stab. It didn't happen this way. Martha is dead. Mother isn't. No shit. I, I, this time, I, I want to try to take a bath. So we, we just got to talk, and then I'll go take a bath. All right, we, we go take a bath. Uh, speak. Uh, speak. Hello, mommy. Hello, mommy. Hello, mommy. Hi, Julia. <laughs> Hi, Julia. Um. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? How dare you talk to me like that? How dare you talk to me like that? Uh, leave me alone. You're just a poor old woman. Leave me alone. You're just a poor old woman. Um, Undress. All right, mommy. Take a look. I'm pregnant. I'm I'm pregnant. I'm per guys. I'm pregnant. Uh, you're pregnant. I was right. So you are pregnant. Your sister was right. I'm I'm pregnant, and and I'm I'm pergio. Uh, I'm gonna take a bath, cause you know I'm I'm naked and I can. Here we go. This is what I want to see. Um. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. The, the now now the mom can get undressed and go in the water. All right. Let's let's pick that option. Here we go. Where's this going? Where's where this going? I'm I'm quite compelled. I have no idea what's going on right now. <laughs> We, we unlocked a secret story mode. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. What? Oh, we're going to drown Martha. Okay. All right. Bye-bye, uh, Martha. I'm going to drown you while I'm naked. This definitely didn't happen. Martha had a scar on her forehead. How did she get that? Um, okay. So, we, we did it, guys. Out of all things, we did it right the first time. We got undressed. Mother killed us with a cane. 
that how it ha that's how it happens. So I think I think we know how it happened. We can continue. Now. I think we did everything. We saw everything. So let's go. I will never know exactly what happened, but I think I have an idea. And after everything, I shot my mother. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't shoot. What actually happened? Yeah, what the fuck? It is all in my mind, but I can remember. I know I can. Did why is she blanking out while she's shooting her mother? She doesn't even remember shit. Yeah, so so Julia's got memory problems, and I don't know why. So let's holster the gun. Something's up, something's up with Julia that we don't know yet. Break? What am I breaking? What am I doing to mother's arm? A little arm. Are we dismembering our mother and hiding her body from the authorities? Is that a what? Small leg. Is that what we're doing here? No fucking way. And another little arm. What? I think she's trying to remember what she did to her mother's body. Another small leg. Or is that what we're going to do? Oh look, only the head is left. Take a mop? Okay. Clean, clean up the blood. Do bones not burn? Probably not, right? Oh god. Okay, we're going into the forest with, with the mom's body. And uh, we're walking down. We're, we got the shovel. Uh, we're going to bury it. Okay. We can do that. We'd use the shovel. <laughs> we're going we're gonna, to uh, take the mother's head. joking holy fuck but but it was just a game this however is not a game i was just playing it's just a bad joke under the bridge the church town speak the white lady i was just playing i was I was... I... I was just playing! Woo! <laughs> um... Uh, is that... Uh, mommy? Mommy? I'm... Oh god, um, this is not a game. Get rid of the head. With this head first? I want to develop these damn photos. M mommy can wait. I'll just hang on to her. <laughs> She's not going anywhere, guys. Don't worry. Um... We're going to the head. Okay, we're going right to the... Entrance? Why would you bury the head here? It makes no sense. That's where everyone can see. Oh my god. Can you guys imagine? Just walking at night with a head in your hand. Like, whatever. Why is why is there candles? Who's lighting all these damn candles? Oh god. The bombing destroyed the church. Uh, we can always rebuild it. Yes, here we go. Oh god! Stop quacking. We got okay. We got a light ready here. Um, there's there's the rest of mommy's parts. Okay, we're just gonna pop that head in there. Bye, mommy. Bye, mommy. 
Quack, quack. And uh, I think we, um, I think we're done. We're not, gonna, we're not gonna leave it like that, are we? Mommy's dead though, which is, which is a good thing, right? We, uh, we couldn't solve this. The power is back. <gasps> power. Now I can develop the role and hopefully have my questions answered. Oh my god, we're gonna go develop the role somehow. Somehow I think there's a twist coming up, guys. We're gonna go develop the role and, and find out the true story now. I th I think there's a twist coming up. And I think it might be a little shocking. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna develop this film. I thought mother was was too obvious to be the bad guy. Maybe maybe the bad guy is actually me, Julia. Maybe Julia's the bad. Let's find out though. Here we go. What's the goddamn twist? This is getting confusing. Let's develop this photo. Let's do the fetus one first. That... Oh, here we go. This is a juicy one. Who took this picture? Okay, this is not a good picture, guys. Someone's beating somebody. I hear somebody. I hear some movement behind me. I hear I hear some movement behind me. Oh dear God! So it's true. I killed my sister. I did everything to hide the truth. Then I killed my mother to rid myself of the guilt. But she was nasty, and everything was her fault. God, what does that make me? I don't deserve to live a second longer. I'm the fucking killer! Julia is! I will see her again and I can try and ask for her forgiveness. But if there is nothing after death, at least I will be free from this suffering. I know it's not right, but I can't do this anymore. Ah, uh, shoot myself, shoot the soldier! Ah, uh, shoulder? I fired instinctively at that soldier, hitting him right in the head. But it was not a good idea. It was not a good idea. He didn't come alone. When the others came in, I closed my eyes. I heard a lot of commotion and then felt a sharp pain in the stomach. They were kicking me while another tried in vain to convince himself. But the soldier on the ground was still alive. They hit me in the ribs, the back, and the stomach. I couldn't breathe, and at the same time I felt the need to vomit. They were ordered to put me on a seat. They bound me up so tightly that I couldn't feel my hands or feet. On the seat next to me was my father. <gasps> he was breathing, but he appeared to be unconscious. Father! The guy in charge started asking me questions. He kept hitting me in the face and head with some kind of short cane. Ow! It was so violent I thought my skull would crack open. I think he had an American flag. All I could taste in my mouth was blood and broken teeth. I ran my tongue across my teeth, thinking to myself that I'd never be able to smile again. A frivolous thought, perhaps, but a painful one nonetheless. Part of my top lip was cut open and was hanging down. I foolishly tried to put it back in place using my tongue and lower lip. I threw up. Oh my god, this is horrific! They forced me to confess that my father had been carrying out all kinds of activity within the German army. Of course, I didn't know anything about it, so I tried to explain. But those punches... I would have done whatever it took to stop them. Whatever it took. Just after I told them what they wanted to hear, the general said, All it took were two slaps and you sold out your father, you German whore. <gasps> then oh God! My father to be executed. You shot my father! It took less than a moment. He didn't even move. 
He pointed to one of the soldiers and then he pointed to me. My time had come. They all left except for the soldier who had the unpleasant task of finishing me off. I wanted to die, but not like that. Terror engulfed me. I could almost hear the sound of my body evacuating. I had the gun pointed to my forehead. I couldn't look at his face. I stank. I felt indecent. Then he moved the gun on purpose and shot without hitting me. He had taken pity on me. It must have been my fate not to die. He quickly cut the ropes and pushed me to the ground, saying out loud, It's done. The German whore has been dealt with. I was left motionless on the ground. He's, he, he let me, he spared my life. Fainted again. The soldier spared my life. I'm alive. I'm crazy, but I'm alive. I wonder what happens if I, I came around, would have killed myself. Did not know what to do. I was completely empty. Game over, right? I felt pain everywhere. Everyone was dead. I was now alone in the world. I felt a desire to hear their voices one last time on Daddy's recorder in the dark room. Provided the soldiers hadn't destroyed it, that is. I can hear my dad's voice one more time on the recorder. Listen to the tape, okay. Now I will wake her up and she will confess. You can bet on it. What are you doing with your father's gun? It's dangerous. Stop it. Okay, we're here. Tell me everything now. Tell me what you have done. Okay, okay. Calm down. Talking to mother. I'll tell you everything. This is what happened. I found that strange note when I woke up. And I immediately realized that something was wrong. Something was up with you, aside from your usual quirks. I came to check, but you weren't in your bedroom. You had spoken about the lake, and I got worried, so I called your father, and we went to see what was going on. We found you sitting in your underwear at the side of the lake. You kept saying that nothing had happened, and you kept repeating things like that. I hugged you to try and make you feel better, but you did not speak again for days. What is happening to you? You should tell me what's going on. I'm not going to that loony bin. I would never have wanted this, but I'm afraid you will harm yourself further. You were really hurting yourself in front of the piano that night. What else could we do? You killed my sister and now you're afraid because I found out. So you're making up stories, aren't you? But I'm not falling for it this time. What are you saying? Your sister. Please, no. I was not well. I didn't know what I was saying. So many years have passed, you were little then. I thought everyone had forgotten that nonsense. Shut up! Don't speak! It happened a long time ago? Else. What are you doing, my daughter? Why do you want to ruin your life? I'm sorry. It wasn't me who just shot Mummy. It wasn't me. I didn't know who I was anymore. Everything had fallen apart. I was afraid of myself. My god, it was terrible. I had always been convinced that I was too good for myself, but then... I had become my own enemy. I was the danger. What should I have done? I thought about the puppet theatre in my old room. There I could find something in myself, perhaps. So I rushed to go play with it again. Oh my god, we're going to doing more puppet stuff? Oh god. Oh god, here, here we go guys, more puppet theater stuff. Um, you think she has schizophrenia? I think she's got something worse than schizophrenia. If there is something worse than schizophrenia. Mommy nearly died giving birth to me. This is what remains in my memory of my mother's, nanny's, and father's stories. I remember little to nothing of my childhood at home. I have to try though. Maybe the important events I should know are right there. Oh god, this is how... This is how I was born now. Okay, Nanny's coming in. Alright, I'm, I'm coming. I'm gonna help you, Mommy. Uh, how are you, Madame? How are you, Madam? Um... I'm fucking in labor, alright? How do you think I am? I feel a sharp pain. 
Do you feel... Do you need anything? Do you need anything? Yeah, not to feel the sharp pain. I can feel it. The time has come. Oh, great. Open the windows. That'll help. Let's let the world know. She's gonna have a baby. Uh, windows are open and I'm gonna leave. Take a towel. Um, okay, we got a towel. We're gonna bring that over here. Here you go. Here's a towel. Uh, everything's ready. The towel's ready. Everything is ready. I got you a towel. That's how we have... That's how we give birth in the 40s. Here's your towel. <laughs> go, go at it. Help! Something is wrong. Um... Irish, help. Irene's not well. Irish, help. Irene is not well. Okay, here he comes. Irish... Coming in for the rescue. Um, wife, how are you? How are you, honey? I'm getting weaker and weaker. Weaker and weaker. Um, gotta call the doctor. Use the telephone. Doctor, hurry. Arena is sick. Shakespeare. Okay, doctor's coming in. All right, doctor, get to work. Cut her open. Don't worry, Irene. The pain you feel is natural. Don't worry, Irene. He's gaslighting her. The pain you feel is natural. Push, Irene, push. Push, Irene, push. Push, 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 push. Here we go, pop one out. Give birth, if it only was that easy. Um, oh, what, what? No, 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 not death, not death. What? You try it again. Push, Irene, push. Um, oh, oh, we gotta, we gotta wait, we gotta, we gotta go back and forth. Back and forth, bitch. Push, 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 push. Here comes baby, here comes baby. Here we go! Come on! Come on! Yeah! Ew! I mean, baby. The baby is born! Sting away! It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Poor mummy. She has suffered so much. I have hurt her so much. Ever since I was born. Um. All right. Ooh, I got like one of those little hot dog dogs. Mmm, yummy. Okay, well, uh, uh, pet my dog. Yes. That's a good boy. It's a good. Oh. <laughs> um. Okay, don't worry about it, guys. We're just gonna uh, speak. Speak, boy. Speak. Okay, uh, mommy, I'm hungry. Mommy, I have to pee. Mommy, I'm thirsty. Mommy, I'm sleeping. That, that sounds about right for my children. It, it, it's, it's one of these. Mommy, I'm thirsty. Mommy, I'm hungry. Mommy, I'm sleepy. Mommy, I have to pee. Um, let's go with the mommy, I have to pee. Mommy, I have to pee. What do you, <laughs> what do you want me to do about it, she says. Oh my god, what a terrible mother. What do you want me to do about it? Um, speak? Mommy, I'm hungry. Mommy, I'm hungry. She's gonna get mad at me. It's not time to eat. Stop being a crybaby. It's not time to eat. Stop being a crybaby. Um. Mommy, I'm thirsty? She gonna get mad at me. I'm thirsty. Um, let's make her paint this time, see what happens.
Oh god, what am I painting? Paint some more. And faster, please. Paint more and faster. Mom, mommy is definitely the root of mental problems. From a very young age, Mommy was a terrible person. Terrible, terrible, terrible. She probably beat them senseless. But Mommy's on drugs now, so she's different. So Mommy, def mommy def definitely has mental problems. Look, at, look what she's painting, for fuck's sakes. What the fuck is that? You're going to annoy me. You just drank. Um... Mommy, uh, mommy, I'm sleepy. Mommy, I'm sleepy. That's enough to go. Go to your room. That's enough. Go to your room. Bitch. Okay, fine, mommy. Fuck. Where's my knife? Get out of my sight. I can stand you no longer. Okay, okay, God. Emotional damage. That's fucking right, the rat. That's emotional damage. I'm going to take the balloon. Give me that balloon. <laughs> oh, oh, I popped it. Oh, God. Uh-oh. How dare you? I will make you pay for that. Oh, I fucked up her painting. I scared her. What the fuck is she gonna do? My hands are not enough. You need to learn properly this time. Sorry, it was an accident, Mummy. Please don't hit me. <laughs> oh, God, she's taking the cane. Is this how Martha really died? Oh god, here we come with the cane. Uh, beat Martha with the cane, okay. Oh fuck. This is just a game. Is it only a game? I believe the white lady said that my lost memories would return in the place of my happy childhood. This is the only place I have ever been truly happy. Are these my memories then? Is this actually my life? What is going on? Martha's not dead? Wait. Wait, wait, this is- there's more to meets the eye here. There's something else going on. Um... This is Julia. The middle one is Julia, the left one is Martha. We thought they were- they were twin sisters, both alive the whole time. That, you know, we're having a funeral for Martha at the beginning. For Julia, but... Okay, wait, 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 wait. So, the way... Okay, the way Mother beat Martha at that scene... The... The mouth is stitched, which is symbolism for a broken spirit. Yes. That symbolism for Martha is now mute. Um, Martha's not going to talk anymore. Because of being beat by her mother she's uh you know mentally damaged from abuse so wait can i speak can we cuddle please she's speaking in her oh sign language here we go uh speak uh yes i like that game yes i like that game Cuddle Martha. Um. Speak. Can we play patty cake? I love you, mommy. I love you, mommy. Speak. Mommy's going to speak. Uh, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy?
um, cry silently. What what do we gotta do with the pitcher? What's up? Did Julia make you cry? What's up? Did Julia make you cry? I've done I've not done anything. I have not done anything. Now I will make you cry. Oh my god! What? Slap Julia? Oh my god. You rude girl. Um, cry. Yeah, now it's Julia's turn to cry. <laughs> Stop making those up, up those stories. Stop making up these stories. Um. Uh, okay, we're, we're we're gonna take the picture. Take that picture. That's right. Fuck you, mom. This is what I think of your fucking pitcher. A spill pitcher over Martha's head? Okay. <laughs> Why? What are you doing? Are you crazy? What are you doing? Are you crazy? Um, no. You're crazy. It, it's, Mar I, it's Martha's fault. I'm angry. Um, it's... it's Martha's? Martha's fault. I don't believe you. You bitch. I saw that. You think you're so smart. I saw that. You think you're so smart. Um. Don't don't punish Julia, mommy. It's it's my fault. I asked her to do it. I've seen it all. There's some weird fucked up dynamics in this family. Holy fuck. Um. Mommy, please, please don't get mad, mommy. Please don't get mad, mommy. Don't worry, honey. I'm angry with you, says Julia. I'm angry with you. I will beat manners into you, you stupid little girl. Oh my god, a fucking cunt. Um. Oh god, she's gonna grab Julia now? Oh my god. Come with me now! Oh god, poor Julia. Where are we going now? Oh, the, the kitchen? What? Sorry, mommy. I'm so sorry. Come with me. What's she gonna do to Julia? I will put you in your place, girl. She's tying her to the chair? I'm sorry, Mommy. Sorry, Mommy. I won't do it anymore. I promise. Too late. These false tears won't help you. Try to break free. C Stay still! Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop with your pushing. Help! She's crying for help. Help! Where the <laughs> fuck is daddy? Oh, doggy comes in. My doggy! Save me! Take. She's gonna take the dog. Now I'll make you want to bark. What? What? Le leave my dog alone! Leave my dog alone! Oh my god! Oh my god! There's no point screaming, stupid girl! No, mommy, please! You're- you're fucking insane! You're insane! Sure! Now I'll show you how insane I am. 
<laughs> Poor little puppy. Oh my god. She, 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 she's she's not she's not going to feed that to me, is she? Help, Daddy! Help! Yeah, Daddy, where the fuck are you, Daddy? Oh my God! Screaming won't work. Your father is not here like usual. Um, good night, the rat. Uh, eat, eat up, Julia. Eat it. Reject it. Yeah, obviously. No. Slab, Julia. Eat. <laughs> I won't eat him. Is this what actually happened? Slap, Julia, again. Oh my god, she's eating it. I was beginning to remember, but I was so scared to remember too much, especially all at once. I didn't have time to guess exactly what happened. It was making me too upset. Pulling out those memories was like trying to pull out a tooth on your own. Almost impossible, and far too painful. The white lady told me that the church is a safe place and home to its children. Donatilio, my priest, I have to talk to him. I have to call him on the telephone. Holy, holy fuck, this game is depressing. So, this game is so fucking depressing. Um, yeah, this is probably one of the probably most depressing games I ever, I ever played. I don't know. This this top this tops tops my list as most depressing. Um, there's the phone. We're gonna call Don. Don. Okay, his number is uh, sixty nine thirty eight. Sixty nine thirty eight. Uh, sixty. Nine three eight. Don Attilio speaking. Who is it? Father, help me. They're all dead. Daddy, Mummy, everyone. Julia, come to me immediately. Don't stay alone. It's dangerous. Come to town. You can stay here with me and we can talk about everything. Okay? Okay. Okay, Father. But first I want to play with my puppets for a while. Julia, don't be silly. Come to church right away. It's, it's, it's the priest. The war is still going on. General Eric K. A mission devised by the partisans to steal weapons from the German army has been put to a stop. The same animals were involved in the killing of the general's other daughter, Julia K. And in an attempt to murder young Martha herself, the vile traitors were executed on the spot. Justice has been served for Italy. For Duce the second. Um. Okay, the following chapter contains scenes of displaying self-harm. Some players may find it seem disturbing. Would you like to view the censored version? Uh, no. Let's, let's not do that, guys. Let's get the full thing. They had all been killed and it was my fault. They were my age, and a few of them were our friends. I didn't think it would go like that, but wasn't it obvious, really? What was I actually expecting? I felt like a coward. 
but what could I have done? Should I have betrayed my father? I loved my father, but I also loved my friend Lapo. Which side was I on? I just listened to my heart. I thought it was the right thing to do. But instead, it was the worst thing I could have done. Oh my god, we betrayed our father, guys. You guys, you guys picked that storyline. Okay, there's the Nazis. Um, not sure where I am right now. I don't, I don't have a map. Uh, I'm just gonna go up to these Nazis and say hello. Hello? I didn't go anywhere near the soldiers. Okay. Germans or allies. They had all caused me harm. I didn't want to approach anyone. For any reason. Okay, let's not go that way. Let's go down this alley. Is this the church? This is the church. Okay, let's go in here. Hello? Father? Father Don? Oh god, there's puppets in here. What the fuck? Once I crossed that threshold, I completely lost touch with reality. Everyone around me had died while I survived everything. Oh my god. What's behind here? What the fuck? I, I, I've completely lost it. Oh my god. They're, they're like the um, conjoined twins. The double faces. Like the fetus. I don't remember how things went. I just remember a big light and then... Photographs were being taken of me. There was a man dressed in white. A doctor, I presume. He was asking me questions, but I didn't understand what he was actually asking me. He wrote something on a piece of paper and then two nurses led me away. I was in the mental asylum. Oh, she's in the asylum now. Some women were talking to themselves. Others cried. Some were even covered in their own filth. Others were violent and tried to hurt themselves any way possible. There was this one young woman who would pleasure herself all day long. Oh my god. Obsessively. Obsessively pleasuring herself all day long? Oh my god. So they would tie her down. To the point where she blit? Screaming. Cursing and talking gibberish for days on end. This. Once her wounds had healed and Fuck. she was untied, she would just start again. Oh my god. That woman was me. That was her? They started to give me injections. What they gave me made my whole body shake. I broke my vertebrae and an ankle. I think it was called cardiazol or something like that. Cardiazol? My body was like a fire that didn't want to be put out. When it appeared to be quenched, it would come back, even stronger than before. In the end, though, they won. I stopped screaming and masturbating. I stopped thinking. There was no longer any need for therapy. Something inside of me had died. But nevertheless, I insisted on carrying along this painful journey. I was stronger than I could ever have imagined. Um. What is this? 
Okay, what's behind here now? Oh god. I'm a puppet. Okay, here comes the self-harm. Probably. Okay. What now? Who are you? Wait, wait. I want answers. Don't go away. Talk to me about Martha, please. She's sign language. Martha does not exist. She never existed. She is just a figment of my imagination. Impossible. I remember her. I loved her. Oh my god. She's a part of me. She is an invention. I have to accept it. Martha never existed outside of my mind. It's pointless denying this truth. It's extremely painful. And Mother? Is she alive? Uh, she is dead. Mummy is dead. Nobody knows that better than I do, unfortunately. It's useless to try and deceive ourselves. Did I do what I think I've done? Uh, only one option? Yes! Yes, damn it. It really happened. I cut her into pieces and buried her under the bridge. God, all that- My God, I knew it. What about Daddy? The soldiers? Did that really happen? It happened. He was shot right in front of me. Fear, pain, shame. I can't remove it. I cannot relive it either. Unfortunately, I knew that already. What about Nanny? What about Nanny? I haven't seen Nanny in so long. I don't know what could have happened to her. Who knows where she is, the poor thing. I'm afraid to ask about Lapo. Lapo? Oh god, what's up with Lapo, guys? Lapo is dead. He was blown up by a landmine. He got into trouble and paid with his life. My dear friend. Poor boy. Just as I remembered, unfortunately. One last question. The pregnancy? The pregnancy? I was pregnant. I was pregnant. But then I had a miscarriage. So much blood that morning. And my mind decided that things had gone differently. Who knows what else I was hiding. That's enough now. All of these questions are pointless, aren't they? It's all inside of us. We just need to turn the mirror. Is it not all just the reflection of an unknowable existence? Nothing more than a puppet show. I'm, sc I'm scared. We're turning the mirror. Ready for everything with open arms. Even ready to kill. What is going on? Her arms are decaying. Legs now our legs. Always ready to run. Now our body the womb that conceived in sin. Lastly, the mind. 
mind. To protect us, it has turned us into monsters. Either way, we cannot live like this, can we? I'll take care of it. I don't need to worry. I'll try to sleep if I can. I've got this. What, what am I puppeteering? Oh god, myself? Oh my god! Got screws in my hand. Martha. Is that the razor? On the 26th of July, San Casciano was bombed and the church was destroyed. But I was not there then. I was already in the asylum. Once again, stubbornly, I was not dead. The bombs hadn't killed me, and I had also survived myself. The most absurd test and the hardest one. The war ended some time ago now, both out there and inside of me. I was on the wrong side of the gate, but now I can turn that page. Life is opening its doors again, isn't it? If I hadn't been so lucky to survive myself, I would have thrown everything away. We think that danger is all around us, ready to attack. But the more devious and misleading dangers are the ones that are inside of us. They grow without us realizing. They make us suffer, remain confused and remove our self-respect. I would have wanted to ask for help, but I was alone. This is my story. Thank you for being here, for listening to me. Now I am ready to leave. How long will it take to get home? Um... Fortunately, today it is possible to ask for help and receive it, even if we are alone, even if we are desperate, even if it feels like life doesn't make sense, it feels like there is nothing left for us. It is only because we no longer see it. There is always something to live for. Something great could be just around the corner. If you or someone you know is struggling, information and crisis resources are available at SAFE in our world.org slash find hell but what do I think of this game I don't know it, it had some good mechanics the I, I I found the Morse code was fun the Morse code was fun the developing film was great um, this game was mentally tiring I feel I feel a bit depressed I mean I'll get over it but you know the the game like cutting off the head cutting into her body with the scissors taking out the the fetus it's very it was very disturbing i wasn't having fun doing it like like the like the blowing off the brains of of zombies in resident evil like i i have fun in resident evil but in this game, there's some parts that I just, I was not having fun because it was just so fucked up. Alright, this game is probably one of the most fucked up games I've ever played. It doesn't get more fucked up than this. This game is fucked. Let's be honest, guys. Have, I, I want to ask you guys a question. Have you guys seen a game more graphic and messed up than this? Have you? Tell me. Tell me if you guys have seen something worse than this. Cutting cutting into a body and taking out a, a fetus. Have you seen something worse than that? And more detailed. This game is... <laughs> what makes it worse is that this game is so freaking detailed. This game is gorgeous. It's beautiful. That's what makes it so... <laughs> it makes it even worse. <laughs>